Hello everybody, uh, Jarred here. Sorry if there's poor audio, this place has a bit of an echo. You might notice the new scenery, and that's kind of the point of this video. Um, to put it shortly, for those who don't have time or just don't care that much, uh, as I said in the end of my long sword uh, review, I really can't make videos anymore. And I just wanted to make this video, well, more as a formality than anything, for those who won't watch the long sword video. And it, the point is, it's just something out of my control. I promise you, I want to keep doing sword stuff and making Jarred videos, but I just literally can't anymore. Uh, not for years, maybe. <laughs> but that's really the point of it. Um, I'm going to do a lot of talking this video for once, so I understand if that's not your thing. And I'm going to try to keep it short because I know that no matter how much I say, it will never feel like enough. But uh, anyway, let's get to it. I was going to have footage over it, but uh, I can't make footage anymore because I waited too long. <laughs> okay, so besides the formality, there is a point to this video, and that is I thought that I should just take a little bit and talk about my general feelings, how it's been being a YouTuber for a year, I'm specifically like the sword community and stuff. And I'm just going to split this into two parts. Um, first, right now I'm going to talk about the sword community. And then, for my beloved Jarred Coon fans, I'm going to talk about that at the end. So, let's get to it. Um, what do I have to say? Well, oh, well, I'm sorry, this is rambly. I don't have a script or anything. Just going as I'm thinking. Um, honestly, the sword community, like I said, I'm not leaving it because I'm angry or anything. Uh, but, I do have some negative things to say. In general, just the disposition of the people, not in the backyard cutting community, but who watch backyard cutters. I joined YouTube, well, restarted my channel, my older videos were garbage, but I restarted with the intent of just cutting things, having fun, and meeting some cool people along the way. Um, I guess if I'm thinking about it in that goal, I kind of failed. <laughs> um, I never did anything really cool. I did meet some cool people, but I came to find that a lot of the people who watch these videos are like 12 year olds, or they're like people in their 40s and 50s with the minds of 12 year olds. Like I had these grown men telling me how I'm not using the katana right, and I should like delete my content because I'm not worthy to produce <laughs> sword videos, cutting things in my backyard. It's really not all that bad though, there are some really great people, supportive people, who, I mean, I, sorry if I don't respond anymore and people just say, like, nice video. I get that a decent amount, and I do appreciate it every time. It means a lot to me. It makes me so happy when I just, like, see the notification, and it's like, ooh, you did good, Jard. Well, that's nice. Thank you for everyone who's just, like, said those things, like, you're funny, uh, that was a good cut, whatever. But it does mean a lot to me. But in general, the sword community is just so... I don't really know how to put it. Calloused? I don't know. It's just really... There's a lot of rudeness in it. Like, And I'm not saying I can't handle banter. Like, I don't mind that people disagree with me. I'm saying they're not disagreeing with me. They're just trashing my videos. Like, I never claim to be an authority on anything. I never claim to be good at anything. Ex oh, except throwing. I kind of feel like an authority just because I've been throwing stuff for so long. But in general, it's just, uh, I understand it's a hard, like, community for some people to get into. Thank you to the people in the backyard cutting community who have invited me to, like, groups and such. That means a lot to me. I was just never the type for it. All in all, though, it's been a great, like, year of just cutting, to, cutting things in my backyard. I really wish I could do that now. I get these urges. Um, I got these out just this video. They're, they're going to sit in the basement forever now. Um, oh. I'll make it back to this later, but for now, just let me go straight to Jarred Coon before I kill too much time. Actually, let me get back to this now, because I finished the video and I realized that I just wanted to, uh, explain better what I meant when I was talking about the sword community in, like, just the way they treat each other. I wouldn't just say callous was not the right word. I, the point I really want to make is that there's too much elitism. Um, whether it's over the type of swords people use or just how they use them, and I know it's stereotypical, but it is especially bad with Japanese swords, and katanas, well, that's what I mean, um, but any type of Japanese sword, I get videos just saying that, 
no, I have to study, like, a technique first. And I'm not joking. I know it sounds like I am, but on the Odachi video specifically, I've had multiple people tell me that I have to stop using the Odachi because I need a secret training. And I don't think they understand, like, what the Odachi is. There is no, like special training for it. I know like the game For Honor came out and they use an Odachi, so everyone's like, ooh, yeah. But it's just so silly. The same with katanas. There's this user just called Really Bad Iido, and he just goes around like posting on people's videos and putting them into his cringy playlists. And I was not like attacked by him or anything. I wasn't put in his playlist, but I'm just saying he's an example of like what is wrong here. Like I've had people because they didn't like my review of a Japanese sword they liked tell me that I'm weak, unskilled, and unqualified to make content. And it's just like, what are they doing? It's just so silly. Um, sadly, I didn't get a chance to get into the uh, European sword community. I made one longsword video, and I had to rush to make that in time uh, before the stuff happened. But, I mean, I guess that's really, I just wanted to specify what I meant. It's not that they're callous, it's just that there's a lot of baseless arguing. Anybody who ever, like, is really rude about it never has videos about swords on their channel. And that's really it. It's just kind of silly. Back to the video. No, this is the big one. Uh, if you don't know Jared Kuna, those uh, videos I made with, like, the editing and the anime girls, and I made my own plot and everything. Uh... And those really mean a lot to me when people like those. Those are my most popular videos by far. The first one has over like 7,000 views, and that means a lot to me. Because what I want to say is, those videos are like the purest me there is. Those are everything I love. I put so many hours into writing and making them. I did almost everything myself. And it was just really great making that and seeing that people could appreciate that. Um, I just thought about it and it was just nice. And I have said this before to my friends, anybody who likes my Jarkoon videos, whether I know them in real life or not, they are my friend. Because if you can appreciate Jarkoon for any reason, then that means you and me would get along great. Besides that, I do have to say this. I was going to keep the surprise, but, um, Jarkoon fans, there is one more thing I have to give you. I can't make Jardkun either, I can't make any videos, really. But there's one more thing that I'm making for you guys. I've been working on it for months, and it might never get finished with how much I'm doing on it, but uh, it might take over a year. <laughs> but if you don't hear anything about it in a year, then you know it's not happening. But there is one thing that you should stick around for, because I'll make a video about it and give it to you guys. There's one more thing I can do for you. Well, I guess that's really it. I can't think of too much more to say. I guess I should give a personal thanks to a certain person, and I know some people, even in my subscriptions, dislike him, some people love him. I need to say um, thank you, Backyard Samurai. You were the first person ever on my old copy videos and on this channel to support me and comment on like all my videos. When you found my rebooted channel for the first time and commented on like five videos immediately, that made my night and made me decide to keep making videos. Thank you, and thank you everybody for watching me over the past year. Thank you all for supporting me, thinking my content's cool, and letting me be a big nerd with swords. Uh, I guess I'll go be a grown-up now. Once again, thank you everybody. This is Jardian K, Jard, Jard Coon, signing off.